Okay guys, so to start off, apply your foundation so we can move on to the features. Let's go. For her eyebrows, you want them to be super straight and on the thicker side. I am using a brow pencil to do this. So to change the tone of your eyebrows, take foundation and an eyeshadow brush and brush the foundation over your eyebrows. Do this until your whole brow is covered. Then take an orangey brown eyeshadow and apply it all over that to change the tone of them to a more warm light brown shade. So her eyebrows also have a dip right here so carve that out with some concealer. For her natural eyes, start off with a cool light brown and fill in these areas. She has a dark shadow above her eyes naturally. Then you want to follow that shadow into your crease and extend it out like a wing. Then take a peach eyeshadow and apply it to your eyelids. So I noticed she also uses very thin eyeliner sometimes, but it's very soft. So to achieve this look, use black eyeshadow as liner and slightly smudge it out. So for her cheeks, she has a very light blush over a more concentrated rosy color on her cheeks. So I'm going to first start off with a light blush. Then taking Chocolate Kiss, which is a lipstick by Best Me Cosmetics, I am putting on a few dots and smudging it out. By the way, I am using this lipstick as a blush because I'm also using it as a lipstick and it's better when they both match the same color. And just a warning, if you have any bumps on your skin, this will make them more prominent as you can see by my right cheek thanks to insomnia. So if you have that, you may want to replace it with a powder. Then to set it down, you're going to just take a translucent powder and dust it all over. And I'm just going to quickly apply my blue contacts. I'll link down below the contacts that I'm using. And moving on to the lips, you want to use that same color and apply it on your lips and then smudge out the edges. Now, if you're going to a convention, I really recommend to overline if you don't have a big top lip like she does. But if you're just using this for photos, then my trick is to stuff cotton in my upper lip for a temporary lip job. And now you're done. Here is me before and here is me after. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And if you haven't checked out my last transformation videos, please do. I really hope you guys enjoy the season finale of Game of Thrones, and I will see you guys in my next video.